Thank you guys so much for joining me. It is Let's Wrap with Riri Garcon, and today we have a special, very, very special creative artist, visionary, humanitarian, oh my gosh, the um, actor, artist. Um, some of the, the documentaries are still happening, and a lot of the list goes on and on and on, I promise you. Maya Bailey. Vision, I want all the loot. When no tenant never rented, but I've been accused. Numbers up, and we need no recruits. Let the loafers for the tailor suits. Making moves that you can never do. Uh, it is so good to finally sit down with you and get this interview in. So, knowing you, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, is even more. It is more than a dream. It is evenful because knowing you um, makes you tap into your work and tap into everything that you got going on. It's a blueprint. It's a movie and definitely need to sit down and get the people to know it, what's going on, you know? Because a lot of stuff, I'm like, I know it, but I know about this. Hold on, wait a minute. So introduce yourself to the people for me, my listeners, my watchers. Well, I'm my baby, I'm an artist. <laughs> I'll be trying to do stuff. Yeah. I'll be just really just trying to look out, yeah. you know, doing what I'm supposed to do as a man. That's what I feel like I'm supposed to do as a man. Follow code. So you've been into this since you were a baby, a child, able to draw yeah. and everything. Two years old and posted what your first, I'm sorry, displayed your first artwork in, in around what, nine, ten years old? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's been going ever since. Yeah, it's been dope. That's dope to have a family and parents that believe in you. Yeah, my whole family, my whole city. Yeah, the whole Asheville, city. Asheville, North yes. Carolina, like the whole place, everybody told me. Um, still in me, what I was going to be. Yeah. They believe in me more than I believe in myself. That's amazing. Yeah, so I'm very thankful to have that. Yeah, that's amazing. That's very, very important. That's a very, very important thing to say. They believe in you more than you believe in yourself, but that was motivation. Yeah. You know, if everybody see it, why you don't see it? Yeah. You know. I mean, because I don't look at myself in that light. Yeah. I just want to do. Some, I just want. I like to do what makes me feel good. Yeah. And I like making art. Yeah. I like making art. It made me feel like, I don't know. They just give me a feeling I can't really explain in words. Yeah. So. They call you a innovative a creator. Um, you also on a documentary, Color Outside the Minds, right? Um, which you actually learned from a teacher long, 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 long time ago. In tattooing. In tattooing. Yeah, yes. I mean, in, in tattooing with Julio Alfonso. But I had a lot of teachers, yeah. you know, along the way. Like my first art teacher, elementary school, Miss Map. Yeah. And Miss Map was like a really big uh, inspiration to in me. She was my first art teacher. Then I had Miss Whiteside, was my second art teacher. I just had a lot of strong women. Yeah. Uh, backing me, man. Strong black women backing me. So it's like, you know, my mother was my actually my first art teacher. Yes. I would sit on her lap and she would draw characters and I would copy what she was drawing. Mm -hmm. And it was like probably some of the most um, memorable bonding time of any wow, human being I ever had. I just remember it, sitting on her lap, you know, and I could remember all these things that she would draw and me copying it. That's trying amazing. to do what she was doing. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. We learn by habit, right? Yeah. And teaching them all first. Yeah. That's very kind um, so yeah, we do know you derived out of Nashville, North Carolina. That's right. Um, you came here to Atlanta and made a movement, basically, because there wasn't one. Not there wasn't one out loud being lived, and you created a movement to be lived out loud um, with City of Ink. Yeah, with my friends, man. It wasn't just me. Yes. It was like I just had a, a large, good, large, good yeah around me that it kept me inspired. Yeah. Yeah, like Tukey and Corey, Corey and, yeah. and my boy Flux and Goldie and yeah. Mr. Soul and we had DJ Wildlife yeah. and, uh, and uh, Marty Jenkins. It was just like so many people around me, you know, like I look at them as my equals, you okay. know what I'm saying, yeah. you know, and I, and I respect their opinions as intellectuals. Okay. So it's like, yeah, they, 
uh, yeah, yeah. Just, you can't help but be be great when you got you great. Can't help but be great. You took that right out of yeah. my head. I was about to say that you can't help but be great. That's very important. This and this, I, I'm so glad that you said that because it's it's some it's saying something for the people to understand. Be careful of the company you keep. Yeah. As well, you know, if you yeah. want to elevate or be better, then that's the type of thing to be around. Yeah. I mean, in the artist world is not a little different. Everybody, well, yeah, y'all, yeah. Everybody look crazy and broke. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> I so, got something to you say. Wanna, you want to have no friends if you uh, <laughs> you <laughs> went off some philosophies. <laughs> I, I think artists break the rules of some of those things. Yeah. When you're dealing with an artist with a lot of, like, especially the most talented ones, they, how you, like, if, you, if talent and, like, vision and creativity is, how it's playing, then something got to be a little lower. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's balanced, right? Yeah, well, it's not balanced yeah. at all. Usually, an artist is not. You lacking something. Wow. Like you get handicaps. You know because what I'm saying? Because of the greatness that you. Then you, you only got so much brain power. Yeah. And so certain things get lost. You gotta drop download some, drop something to damp up those something. <laughs> so what is the one thing that you <laughs> think that you had to drop? I mean, I'm learning stuff, basic stuff now. Like I'm learning how to cook. <laughs> okay. Now you learn how to cook. What is what's one of the meals that you can cook really good now? Well, I haven't fallen off. My best friend was teaching me how to cook. Then I and then I, I have that's stopped. So it's like now I'm trying to learn stuff. So with the last meal I made, I made some um some salmon. <laughs> That is good. Well, I'll congratulate you. Yeah, that's I'm the first thing I learned how to cook with salmon. Do you know how to make rice? Lesson. Yeah, yeah. I okay, then you can cook. You can make no, rice. no, I'm not saying I can cook. <laughs> Don't say that. Now. I'm good with George Foreman grill. Okay. <laughs> and a microwave. No, I use a microwave. Okay, good. But I'm, I can cook on the George Foreman grill pretty hot. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now you're still vegan? <laughs> no, I'm not a vegan. Not a vegan. No, no. My family was the one was that on that side was vegan. Gotcha. Yeah, I was. I'm, I'm a straight savage. I like a steak. I'm a beast savage. So, do you make the steak in the drawer? No, I don't do that. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. I'm trying. I mean, I understand. You know, no, I don't do that. Yeah. I make sure if I'm. It's bad for you to eat that shit. So I rather go to a nice steakhouse. Good. Yeah, that makes waste, sense. I waste, right. Yeah, I don't waste it. I don't kill myself on something crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so. I want to talk about um, Peter Street Station. Yeah. Um, thing. Uh, the tour. The the energy screaming from the walls. So when people say walls talk, every every house has a history. Every four walls has a history. It's saying it says so much throughout here, from the pictures to the paintings to the autobiographies on the walls. Chosen books that you have up there, you know, the creativity, um, everything here is just amazing to me. Thank you. I remember when you acquired it, it was more like a shell. Yeah, it was. It was more like a shell, and I say that deeply because to see what it is now, I'm like, you knew this vision, did How would you? How would you put everything together? Yeah. Like that? Everything you taught me, this gonna be that, this gonna be that, yeah, this, yeah, this yeah, that, yeah. and I was like, okay, good. And everything is right here. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. I look so, at it like a piece of art. That's all. Like a piece of art. Yeah. Every room says something. Yeah. Oh, each one feels different. Each one feels different. Yeah. This is bad. This is even almost. This is. I kind of want to say this is a better feeling than. I don't want to compare the two. It's almost better than no Jake. The artistry from your, um, what I want to say, your brotherhood, you yeah. know, not even team members because of the love that y'all share for each other and the creativity yeah. is amazing. Um, I want to get into that, but before we do, I'm going to take a quick break, intermission y'all out, and we're going to come back.
2020 vision, I want all the loot Windows tenant, never rented, but I've been accused Numbers up and we need no recruits Leather loafers for the tailor suits Making moves that you could never do You sure I'm cool, but I'm never amused when I Thank you guys for coming back to more of Let's Rock with Riri Garcon and our special guest, Amaya Bailey, the tattoo artist and all the other many things that he does do. So when we took a quick break, um, we were discussing the artistry, the brotherhood, the way the walls talk to you, the artwork is amazing, for one. That's my bro, man, P.D. Parker. P.D. Parker! Yeah, man. He only been paying for a year. There's no way! Yeah, he was like, I like, he was the, he the manager. <laughs> I know, I'm just like, where? Because I don't, he managed other artists. And then, you know, I, one day I saw him sketching. He was sketching. I was like, won't you, um, I, I, you know, you can draw, period. Like, you can really draw. And he was like, what? He was like, no, nigga, you can draw. You can draw, nigga, like, draw from, like, he started drawing. And I'm like, if you can paint like that, and he started painting, and just, he just knew how to do it. He just, just know how to do it. That's you just really don't know what you can do until you try, I guess, right? Yeah. And he was literally an example of someone doing it. He did a mural, he did like murals. Like he, was, he just exploded, like he like was always there, and then one day it came out. That's crazy. Yeah, so I'm very proud of him. Very yes, proud of him. that is crazy. And to be a show, do his first show, it's bold. And he told him to be a year in and do it on the show. It's a bold statement. Very bold. Confidence, too. So, as long as the artist is confident, they just need to keep going. You know? It actually magnifies lost talents, even even individually together, because he can, you know, to be able to have someone to travel next to you yeah. when when your work being great and then you got more people coming up being great and everybody's yeah. just great. Like you spoke about the greatness. Yeah, I I believe in like if everybody can hold their own, like as a king or a queen, hold their own then you really know why we all together. Yeah. Because you don't really need, if, if, if you're there, you don't really need no one else. But you're here together for a reason. So, so sometimes it could be for competition. Sometimes it could be for camaraderie. You know, sometimes you can be yourself. It could be for everything, so, you know. But it makes you a better artist. Yeah. That's the point. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it has to. It has it's an to. institution. Like a temple or something. Yeah. So it feel like you gotta uh, the mind. I, if they could create a machine that could dive into you all's mind, it'd be a roller coaster. Yeah. Kind of like I would say, what is Michael Jackson's video where it was everything going on in it? What was it um, um, with the roller coaster? Yeah, I remember that. And everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez, I can't remember that. Yeah, <laughs> and everything. Yes, and everything. everything going on. Yeah, like a collage. A collage. Of everything, how do you stay? just leave me alone? Just leave me alone. Yeah. Yes. So is that what you're screaming? Is that what you scream sometimes? Are there are there moments where you get to where you be like, it's screaming. You're not saying it, but just like leave me alone. I mean, I can't. I don't really have the luxury to think that way. <laughs> um, I think my mind is pro like for being alone. Like always been the big brother. Yeah. Always been a father. Always been. So my whole thing around here is just to make sure nobody kill each other. You know yeah. what I'm saying? To balance out the energy. You know, like I really gotta look at it like a garden. You know? Yeah. And I've just got these seeds and throw them out. And then you don't know what you got though. Sometimes somebody might be some corn over here, some lettuce over here, yeah. cabbage. You know, but put them together, that shit tastes good as hell. I mean, you know what I'm okay. saying? But I look at it like that, and I look at it like Barry Gordy. Or look at it like, uh, you know, when Russell Simmons has been deaf yes. You know, like these people fit together. So, like, you know, he can, everybody get their attention or they market in some kind of way. But we haven't even turned up yet. We just, I know, that's why I'm we just, just like, this is, this, this, this is cocoon stage. I look at this cocoon stage for us to see who really going to be around yeah. and who really going to ground it out. I mean, because they, this, it's already there working with you. Styles will be coming out with. Like, the whole thing is like everybody can paint, but we trying to come up with new styles. Like, new styles. Like, new eras, new 
everybody's look, stuff look completely different. You know I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to see what I, that that to me to know your work. That is that's crazy to think like what are you going to create next? Glow in the dark, jumping tattoos. Like what is next? Because you develop your own way, like with your free hand. Oh, with that's on. Yes, yeah, with yeah, that's on. You got your no. own. Everybody does a Maya baby stamp. When you do a Maya baby tattoo, everybody, oh yeah, I know you got that. Oh yeah, I know you got that. Yeah, everybody know. That money. You know they. Yeah, how much I got? How much you tattoo? Yeah. Um, undisclosed. Just go on the site and uh, book your time, and I'll see you. But it's worth it. It's worth every single penny I mean, because somebody is going to say something it's about so it. Because it's not just a tattoo. But it's so affordable. It's still affordable. Tattooing is the for my affordable art. It's the gateway to my other art. Everybody, so like, think about it. Like the black community, we didn't, we didn't grow up the luxury of having paintings in our home. A lot of times we had prints and fake stuff all in the house. No one no different than the white people who have all these luxury rentals and stuff in their homes and can pass. They grandma would pass this down to them. And this and that. But we didn't have that, so we were a little behind on that. So tattooing is the hook. Mm. To reel them in, because people are like, oh, that's a nice tattoo. And you reel them in, and then you teach them about art once you got them. Yes. So it's just a tool. You've that's always, the, but you've been on that from yeah. jump. You've been you know, on mixed that the, from jump. So my whole goal is not to, to divide the artist at all. It's just tattooing is one of my disciplines that I do. And it's the artists I'm under me, it can be one of the disciplines they do. Because you got to do all these other stuff to create a new style of tattooing. Yes. So it's like, the whole goal here is just to create new tattoos that don't look like nobody else's stuff. To paintings that look like nobody else's. Everything's connected. This looks and like we, no one else's stuff. And we don't and we don't separate it. A painting the same way you paint a painting, it costs on the paint how much a tattoo will cost. It's no different. You don't separate the two. Only you might go a little lower, but why? It's because the tattoo don't increase in value. But it, it it's something to that person. It's very much valuable. To that person. Same way. So, so it's like you can buy a painting and invest in value. You can resell it or keep it and pass it on to your children. Or you can get this tattoo and it lasts you a lifetime. So it's up to you what you want to spend the money on. But it's art. It's a luxury item. It is a luxury item. It's not something you really need. It's something you really want really bad because it makes you feel a certain way. Right? Luxury item. To walk in your house and everybody walks in your home and goes, ooh. Ooh, yeah. What is, can, yeah. What, is, what is this thing? Oh. Let me get a glass of wine, you know, real quick. Let's go over it, you know. That's a conversation starter. These are conversation starters for people that aren't good with communication. Get you smarter. You know, this is good conversation starters. Um, I know you do have uh, the bar. We have the bar here. Well, we got Gilly coming. Gilly coming. Yeah, they coming yeah. soon. We're going through all the cities. And like the chef. Pottery. You're gonna be showing you already are teaching the arts to the community. Yeah. Now you're gonna show them how to create, how to create, how to visually create yeah. from clay. Yeah. The whole thing is like, uh, I mean, I'll, at the same time, I mean, we just not trying to buy the arts. You know, we got music here. We got we're just trying to have as many different art disciplines as possible. So, you know what I'm saying? It keeps some kind of culture in Atlanta, in the city of Atlanta. The gentrification is real. Yeah, and it we're losing, is. We're losing identity and culture here. Yeah. So, this is like a culture of art center. Every art form will come and manifest. I love it. This is real dope. This is real dope. So, let me ask you a question. But do you even, how, I guess, the, how would you, how do you even market? How do you market this? Like, how do you market it? Yeah, how do you market it? So, so I just, my gift is what's missing. What do people ask for? Yeah, all the people ask for it. I can deliver what they tell me to do. Yeah. It ain't nothing hard about it. And you know what? A lot of people are so egotistical. They don't listen. They don't shut up. They, they only think it. They only mind is only thinking. But you got to stop with your thoughts and listen. Mm. The people are going to tell you exactly what they want. Just give them what they want. If your service, if your service is food, just I know what you want to do, but listen to the people for a second, and then slowly give them the piece of yourself. 
Numbers up and we need no recruits Leather loafers for the tailored suits Making moves that you can never do You sure I'm cool but I'm never amused When I come Alright, thank you so much for tuning back in West Rock Review You guys our special guest, Maya Bailey um, Before we went into the break We were just discussing some of the philanthropic things that he does As well as being an artist A uh, great influencer Uh, but I do want to get into this new series that you have of your drawings. Um, I want to get into it because, you know, I feel kind of special. I was the one I, you know. Um, they weren't regular drawings. Like, these weren't just regular new drawings. They were lines of lines of lines of lines that made a flowing picture. That's right. Let's get into that. Like, where, 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 how did you, I don't even know. Well, it started off because um, I was working on a series of paintings for a collector and I needed, um, he didn't want models. So I have friends. My, the first one were like people like, damn, you know, regular everyday person. It was like, oh, I'll be a model for you. Mm -hmm. they, you know, I've talked to my friends about the project. They're like, I'll do it. And then I just draw them. And then once one might see that one, you know, I go, oh, draw me. Mm -hmm. And then, but the whole thing was, it was so many people asking. Um, I, really, I had to kind of go by energy or go by body type. Mm -hmm. You know, so like, I guess she was my slave. <laughs> you know, but I would go to everybody type of woman, mostly black women, yeah. um, to represent every spectrum of of I don't want you know, like nobody ain't gonna sit around and have six pack and shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. I want real life people so when someone see it like, oh that look like me. Mm -hmm. When they can see themselves in a the piece, it's gonna sell. Um and so I just did a collection of these drawings because I need all these different poses and angles for these series of paintings. So those are the actual just the sketches and ideas. And once I got that in memory how someone's body is like shaped and everything, I can kind of draw me and paint them in any position I need them to be from now on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Y
like memory forever. You know, so it's like, but once you draw, it's like, I got to draw, I got the shape. I can't just look at it and then remember it forever. Yeah. But if I draw it, I can remember everything about it from moving my hands and I can just remember it. And now I can draw this person any way I need to draw. That's amazing. Because it comes out like that. Yeah. It's amazing. Hey, I want to get some of this footage. Yeah. I want to get some of this footage. I want to talk about it. You need to do. Um, Alright, well, this piece for one. This this is amazing. Uh, I can't say talk about it. No, 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 no. I just, to, <laughs> I just want to see this piece, but I want you to take me to take me to the artwork. Take oh. me around. Okay. Um, but this is the gallery. People. This is the gallery. Yeah, this, right is now. Gallery. this is the work of P.D. Parker's first solo show, uh, Heartbreaks and Heroes. He actually curated himself and was the artist himself. So this is a one man show that you're seeing right now. And it's his first show. So I'm very proud of my brother for even doing this. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people don't have the courage to do it. And he stepped up and did it. And he proved himself to do it, you know, by keeping grinding. So that's amazing. It was, a good, it was a good start. I can't wait to see what Uncle Bree did. I know, right? Yeah. When you have that, is that he's going to be after? No, the reason, girl. She yeah, she's really girl. She's yeah. gonna be after him. No, nah, she's not after him. I think it's a sculpture show after this. Okay. Uh, we, every month, every other month, we got a guest curator to give us a break. So, like this month is one of ours. This is an in-house show, and then the next show will be a guest curated, so we can take a break, and then we we'll get ready for another group show. She's the one um, okay. that you have on the left side. Yeah, she's the, yeah, yeah. she's my. My princess. Yeah, awesome. yeah, she's really like a great painter, great artist. Yes, yeah, she's a great creative. She's a Renaissance woman. Yeah. yeah. And she's a mother. She's going hard. She looks very creative. Yeah. yeah she's beautiful. Yes, yeah, she is. Yeah, she be getting it down. Yeah. I can't wait. I gotta just sit down with her. Yeah, yeah, you gotta talk to Bree. Yes. She's on vacation right now. <laughs> but okay, so we're at the and now I want to get the very first room that we come into. Yeah. We're coming in, we didn't even get a chance to discuss that one. Yeah, a little master cool going down over here. Yeah. My record collection over here. Okay. Well, something, you know, when people want to add on to the collection, they got something to it. We got an old school vinyl. We trying to keep all that type of shit alive. So we still working on this area, man. Looking for like little pieces here and there to add on to it. Yeah, you got some of the greats too. Yeah, up there. Homegirl story, she color coded the books for us. Really? Yeah. So How about organization? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Hey, let's go. 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 Let's that's really dope because if it's far over to that shit, that shit be fly. Y'all so already know it. Yeah. Really cool, man. Penny is on. Doris. I was talking about. Yeah, I'm gonna got him scheduled. Yeah. yeah, I know, I know, I know. So you like that shit right in the pocket. Yeah, that's the show. Tiger Wall. Alright. Oh, we got delivery. What's going on? Mm -hmm. I really do appreciate you. Your space and your private space, exclusive space. You just been there. You employees only. Employees only and by appointment only. Let everybody know where to find you. Oh, Instagram, Maya Bailey. Got it. Or hashtag Maya Bailey, too. People be posting all kinds of stuff outside of myself. Yes. Mm -hmm. So thank y'all so much for tuning in. This is Let's Out with Rudy Garcon and our special guest today, Maya Bailey. Y'all take it. Not gonna trip if the sun don't shine. Not gonna trip, you know I get mine. 2020 vision, I want all the loot. 2020 vision, I want all the loot. 2020 vision, I want all the loot When no tenant never rented, but I been accused Numbers up and we need no recruits Leather loafers for the tailor suits Making moves that you can never do 
You sure I'm cool, but I'm never amused When I come